Kia ora and welcome to the third video in this series um, and this will be a income statement through to a balance sheet. So the whole process from start to finish. I'm going to be working quite quickly through the income statement in particular because there's already a previous video on income statements. So let's get started straight away. So first things first, we have got all our accounts down on this left hand side in the trial balance. So what we're going to start by doing is I'm just going to quickly run through and just identify what is an expense, what is an asset, what is an income, etc. So we know accounts receivables and as, uh, current assets, okay? Bad debt, expense, bank, current asset, computer, non-current asset, okay? Discount allowed is an expense, drawings is a negative owner's equity or a contra owner's equity, general expenses, it's got expense in the name, insurance is an expense, interest on loan, expense, petrol and oil, I'm going to say as an expense, um, petty cash is an asset, a current asset, repairs on truck, uh, and as an expense, and our truck itself is a non-current asset. So as you can see, I've just labelled what each of those are, because it makes it easier moving forward. Accounts payable, current liability, capital is owner's equity, fees is our income, gain on the sale of the truck is also an income, and our loan and we just need to look at the dates. It's due in six years' time, so it must be a non-current liability. Okay. So first things first, we start with our, our title, which says income statement for regs recycling as at the 30th June. 2022. Perfect. So we started with our title as we do every single time. This one's a bit different to our income statement last time because it's not sales, it's going to be fees at the top. And that's going to be 207. Okay. And as we can see, there's actually no cost of goods sold. Okay. So our fees are just going to stay there. We're going to add our other income. Okay, and our other income is our gain on the sale of the truck, so gain on sale, which is going to come for $3,000. So our total income for this one is $210,000. Okay, then we're going to minus off our expenses, so we're going to list our expenses. And our expenses, so we can go through the left hand side um, and we can work through the process. They're already in the alphabetical order, which makes it really easy for us. So, bad debt, four six hundred, a discount allowed, okay, is $900. General expenses, $3,900. Insurance, four, four. Interest, loan is $10,400. And our petrol, if I can spell, and oil is 16600 and our repairs. So as we can look through this, we can see all of our expenses are listed there. That means we can total those up. Okay. And we can call this total expenses. Okay, so we know it's 400 plus 16,600 plus 10,400 plus 14,000 plus 3,900 plus 900 plus 4,600. And that equals 41,200. 
And remember, we're going to minus that, so we need to put it in brackets, and that's going to lead us to our net profit, okay, which we do need. So net profit equals our 210000 minus our expenses equals 168800. Okay, so that gives us a nice wee starting point, and that's our income statement, okay? So we need to remember our income statement, um, and we're just going to put that over here, and then we'll get started on our balance sheet. So as per an income statement, we're going to start the exact same way. So we're going to start with, guess what, another title, okay? So there's two different titles you can do for a balance sheet. You can do number one, which is a balance sheet for uh, Rex Recycling as at the date, or well, the more sophisticated answer and the more answer, uh, the answer we would prefer you to write is a statement of financial position for Rex or Rigs, sorry, recycling as at the, the 30th of June 2022, okay? So statement of financial position is the, just the fancy name for a balance sheet, um, but that is what we prefer nowadays, okay? So what we start with um, always in a balance sheet or a statement of financial position is non-current assets. Okay, so this is the title again, so we can underline that. The non-current assets, we've actually got two of them in this example. Okay, so we have got computer. The computer. Just remember, non-current assets are ones we're not going to really buy year to year. Okay, so they're more longer than a year. And so that's going to be $10,000 in two the non-current asset account, okay? And then, obviously, our other big one in this example are trucks, and they are $300,000. Okay, so as we can see here, that's going to be totaled, and if we want to, we can write total non-current assets, which equals $310,000, okay? Then what we're going to start with is we can write plus current assets. Okay. We can underline that because there's a few of them. So we're going to again start with accounts receivable. We still try and do this in alphabetical order. So our accounts receivable is 10 to 0, 0. Okay, then we go down to the bank, which is 17400 Then we can drop all the way down to petty cash, which is 500 So we can total that up. Uh, so it is the 10,200 plus the 17,400 plus the 500 equals 28,100. Then we're going to less our current liabilities. Okay. And our current liabilities are going to be accounts payable. There's only one of them. So we can put that straight into column two, which is 13,700. Okay, we're gonna underline that. And we're gonna take that away from the 28,100. And that's gonna be 14,400. And we're gonna call that net working capital. Okay, so that 
shows us what our networking capital is, and that will help us later on when we get into the financial um, analysis and looking at percentages and ratios around it. The final step, uh, final step of the top part is less non-current liabilities. So these are again ones we're not going to pay off in a year. These and our only non-current liability is our loan. Okay, and that's a hundred thousand dollars. So we can put, just put that. Okay. Now, oh, I see. Even I make mistakes. We should have totaled that there, so that should be three, two, four, four hundred. Okay, and that just makes this last bit a bit easier. Then we single and then double underline this, and that's going to be two, two, four, four hundred. Okay, and what do we call that? We actually call that net assets. Okay. And so we can move on to the equity section. So that's going to be called net asset. Okay. Now that's the top half of the balance sheet done. And now we're just going to crack on with the bottom half. And this is where some people get a bit confused. Um, but we will be able to work this out pretty quickly. Okay. So equity is what we're going to call this. And we're going to underline it because that's the name of this section. Okay, so we're going to start with opening capital, and we do the same thing every single time. Opening capital. Okay, and as we can see, we've been given that figure over here, which is fifteen uh, one one five six hundred. Okay, we're going to add or plus our net profit. Okay, which we can get from our income statement. So we can see over here, our net profit is 168,800. Okay, we're gonna add those two together. Okay, which gets to 284,400. Okay, then we're gonna minus our drawings, okay, less our drawings, which is 60,000, okay, and that's going to come over here with our final total of 224,400, put a dollar sign, and as you can see, this figure here and this figure here are correct, and that is why it's called a balance sheet. Okay, and what we call that two two four at the mo at the bottom is closing capital. Okay, so gents, that's how we do a uh, a full financial statement of financial position from an income statement, and we can bring this all together into one big question. Okay, so. Our next video, which we'll be going on to, is how do we edit the information that we're given and do a bit of transaction analysis before and during a trial balance. So therefore, we can change our income statement and our balance sheet. Hope this helps. Matewa.